tonight on our great, great, great American panel from Grand Rapids. He is the founder and the publisher of BigGovernment.com. Andrew Breitbart is back with us. She is a journalist, and Fox News contributor Judith Miller is also with us. And she is an actress, singer, and the founder of Constituting America. Janine Turner is also with us. Guys, welcome, welcome to Grand Rapids. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Wish Hello. I could be with you. And, Andrew, <laughs> All right, you're stirring up a lot of trouble there, Mr. Breitbart. First it was... I'm at you, Harvard, you by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. I feel sorry for you if you're hanging out at Harvard. You have my sympathy. <laughs> now, I'm here with, uh, with regular Americans, as Mark Levin calls them, in Grand Rapids. You know, the ones that pay their taxes, obey the laws, and, and play by the rules, and do the right thing. Not the Harvard elite. All right, so last week you are at a Harry Reid rally, or, or I'm sorry, you are at the Governor Palin rally, where 20,000 people are. Only 100 showed up a week later for Harry Reid. But anyway, they're throwing eggs at the Tea Party Express bus. You got this on, on video. There's a guy that threatens you and says, get Breitbart out of here or we're going to put him in jail. And then yesterday at Harvard, you have another confrontation with, uh, with this guy from a union. And we've got the tape. Let's roll the tape. I put out $100,000 uh, to show any proof that the N-word was said uh, two weeks ago, and I have gotten no responses on it. Regarding organized labor, which I've long supported in my life, uh, I was at the Tea Party in Searchlight when I was just standing there, and organized labor started to attack the Tea Party bus. I have it on video. Will you help me look into the attack on the Tea Party bus? Violence of any sort is not called for, but let me tell you what I witnessed personally when I went up to the hill on the day of the, of the uh, health care vote. The Tea Party people were there. I watched them spit at people. I watched them call John Lewis the N-word. So you heard that? Yeah, we did. We did. We did indeed. I witnessed it. I witnessed it. I saw it in person. That's real evidence. There were 10,000 video cameras. All right, now, Andrew, you, you've offered a hundred grand to anyone that produces that tape. Has anyone uh, come forward to claim the money yet? Well, Trump is as close as we've come. Uh, John Lewis, uh, who was one of the initial people who made these allegations, uh, has been nowhere uh, to be seen since I challenged this. Because the problem is there's no description of the event. You would think that if you heard the N-word, you would describe who the perpetrator was. Were they short, tall, male, female? And nobody has a story. There would be a commotion. Uh, amid that crowd of people. This was a strategy that the Democratic Party, the, de the progressive movement, and as I'm showing you here, the labor movement wants to marginalize right. a group that has Andrew. been very devastating, the Tea Party movement. All right, let, let me throw this to Janine, because this has now become part of an orchestrated strategy by the left. They want to hurt guys like Breitbart. And, and the Fox News Channel. They want to attack, you know, Rush and Levin and talk radio and Bortz and every, all of us in talk radio. Every Fox News personality that has an opinion has been attacked. Is this part of a strategy to demonize strong, working, tax-paying, law-abiding American citizens? Well, absolutely. And I think that if we can just be wise and aware of what's going on, that'll be a big part of staying on top of this. I mean, yes, you know, why, why do the liberals think that the First Amendment rights only apply to them? I mean, that's what gets me. But, but yeah. I do not believe, and, and also, I do not believe it was said, but if it were said, that's one person and it doesn't represent the party. That should never have been right, said, but it doesn't get... represent the party. Judith, beyond everything else, it's inaccurate. It's not true. But it's also bad politics. How do you analyze this? What is the Democratic, you know, what, where's their strategic thinking here? Look, I think that a lot of people are concerned about acts of, potential acts of violence that, uh, that might be prompted by such language. Uh, you know, the issue is, did anybody whoa, whoa, whoa. respond? The no, no, where's the language, though, Judith? No, I don't look, see it or hear it. You had somebody say he heard it with his own ears. It's true it's not on tape. He's, but a, he heard he's it. a Democratic hack. Does that, mean that, he's, does that mean that he's lying? I don't think it Sean, means that he's lying. I, if, you, if there were 10,000 cameras, as Breitbart pointed out, it, there's no video evidence of it. You know, somebody can be positioned in a way that a camera's not, and if somebody says, I heard it myself, unless you can prove they didn't, why not believe them? Why not take it oh, on faith? Oh, excuse me. You're, 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 you're innocent until proven winning. guilty. Okay. They're winning. They're no, winning right but here. What about, what about the Tea Party movement that's characters being assassinated? Doesn't that matter? I, 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 we got to take a break. I'm a little behind. I promise we'll get back into that. And Tiger... 
And we continue now with our great, great American panel. All right, all right Judith, I want to go back to you because I didn't feel like I was cutting you short here. All right, so you're saying, oh, this, this rhetoric, was, rhetoric was heard by everybody. Barack Obama during the campaign said, if they bring a knife, we bring a gun. He also said about me. He said, we're going to send Mr. Burgess over to Fox News and tear Sean Hannity up. Should I have taken that as a threat? Well, I think you took it in the way in which it was intended, and you've responded rhetorically back by criticizing the president, and you've gotten even. You've held your own, Sean. What if, what if I ever said, what if Sean Hannity ever said, I think I'm going to send somebody to the White House and tear up the president, which I'd never say. When, uh, the Secret Service would but be you, banging you, on my door. No, but look. you know it's working, isn't it? Isn't it working? Because what's happening is we're spending all of our time talking about this instead of talking about what's really important in our country right now, which is the Constitution and the Federalist Papers, and getting doing a 180 and going back and learning about our country so we can keep America the great country that it is. And so here we are spending all this time trying to figure out why something was said or something wasn't said, which is exactly what they want us to be doing instead of doing reading, reading the Fed Federalist Papers and the Constitution. Let's continue the march here. Yeah. Hey, but Andrew, but the I think Janine has right a behind good behind point me, here. By the way. All right, but, but Andrew, the point is, I think Janine's got a good point. This has now served as a great distraction. It seems to be part of the, the Alinsky model, which is to target, to isolate, and to divide. Do you think this is purposely done by the Democrats? Of course it is. They've been trying to find evidence to back the Tea Party as racist for a year and a half, haven't found anything. All of the evidence comes from the other side that they're the ones that are being violent and they're the ones that are hurling the N-word around. Uh, the attack on Kenneth Gladney, N-word thrown, violence caught on tape coming from SEIU thugs, uh, the Tea Party people organized by a Democratic Party hack. Uh, attacking uh, decent citizens. They're accusing us of what they're doing. That's classic Alinsky. The very act of the Black Congressional Caucus walking through the Tea Party people while holding all those videos was an act of provocation. They right. need this desperately. And one last mm -hmm. thing, the language that Nancy Pelosi is using about the civil rights movement, comparing the unpopular health care bill to the civil rights movement ties into this. That's exactly what Richard Trumka, the head of the well, AFL-CIO, they're all on the talking points, basically telling black people that the white people we, are trying to take your health care from you. This is a racial, we, racist, raci <laughs> racially uh, divisive uh, strategy that they're playing, right, and me, it's very dangerous in. in the United we States. Now ha I agree it's dangerous, yeah. and I believe it's, it's coming from the top uh, in terms of the White House and, and supporters of Barack Obama, as you point out here. I mean, uh, members of the Tea Party movement have, have been called uh, supporting segregation and the Ku Klux Klan. Uh, but I, uh, we're running out of time, and I've got to get this question in. Tiger Woods.